But someone told me one time, like, if you're a good Catholic, you've got to pray an hour a day. And I was like, okay. Well, that's about f 59 minutes longer than I'm used to. <laughs> so I sat down with a pad of paper. I started writing out a whole list of everybody I needed to pray for. I mean, everybody I could <laughs> repent for the end is near. I started writing out a list of everybody I could think of, everybody I could possibly think of to pray for. And I had like five pages. And I sat down. It was like 9 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I, I started at 9 o'clock. I waited for like the hour hand to go up. I started praying. And I finished my five pages. I looked up, and it was 9.06. I was like, oh, crap. What do I do now? And I was so deflated. I felt so defeated. Like, I'm a, such a failure. I'm like, how can I call myself a Catholic? How can I call myself a minister? How can I even work in this church? I can't pray more than six minutes. I am so spiritually ADD. What? <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> I'm like, I can't do this, God. And I was so deflated. Do you think that's what God was doing? No. God was up in heaven going, St. Mark, get over here. Your boy just did six minutes. Give me a high five. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Six minutes is ten minutes more than yesterday. Come on. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. And they're applauding, and they're affirming, and they're cheering you on. That's where the applause comes in. You're going to hoist the trophy. You are going to win the championship. You're going to kick the Cobra Kai in the face. You're going to beat the bad, you know, you're, you're going to be that person. But you're not going to hear that applause until you get to heaven. 